I know that I didn't ask for no mukbang, but here I am with it. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Camp. Today, I'll be doing a mukbang. I know y'all didn't ask for one, but here it is. So, I'm trying something new. Um, I actually try to do questions to see which I want you to talk about. Oh, and some of y'all answered. Okay, so looks like I will be talking about a few things. Um, I want to do this similar to what Cuzzo AB does. If you don't know, she's another mukbanger on YouTube. Um, and she eats first and then talks. So that's what I'm going to do because I don't eat that much anyway. And I'm trying some new things. So I ordered from Phoenix Vegetarian Vietnamese Restaurant. So let me just show y'all what I got. Okay, so this is their deluxe fried rice so it looks like it has broccoli um it has chicken shrimp steak uh i think that's a little cilantro some bean sprout some carrots you know i don't know what type of sauce but that's that here is a funnel cake <laughs> this is supposed to be apple topping um and this is noodles bean sprouts lime some sauce y'all can't see it uh these are noodles i can see and y'all i messed up so this is actually my whole a whole order of pho i did not want that because the deluxe came with the pho and i also got some spring rolls i love spring rolls let's eat that first I know that's gonna be good. Like I told y'all, everything is vegan, so this is not no real meat. I'm hungry. Yeah, I knew that was gonna be banging. I bought all this food because it's gonna be a real mukbang. I told y'all last time, I don't know how people do it because I'll be ready to eat. First and two, child. Okay. So I'm gonna try this first. So I don't know what's what. So this is obviously shrimp. Oh God. Y'all see that? What is that? Pete. Why would they fry it? And it's only one shrimp. Come on now, don't jit me. Okay. I'm assuming this is chicken. No, 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 no. This is chicken. This is beef, I guess. Let me show you. It looks like tofu. Hold up. <laughs> what is that? Chicken? Mm. I don't like that texture. Mm -mm, I don't know what that is. Definitely chicken taste. Oh God. I feel like I wasted my money. Cringe. Oh God, Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. The rice look good. The broccoli looks fresh. Let me cut my food up. I just, how do I do this? It's, it's my food getting cold. Mmm, I know how I feel. It needs some, you know what I need? Some soy sauce. Hold up. You know, when in doubt, salt it out. Salt it out. <laughs> I probably will wait too much. <clears throat> I don't 
know what type of sauce is on the meat, but I don't know. It's really, I wish I could smell what it smell like in here. It's really not good. Bro. Who's the reviews to get online? Great reviews. Maybe you got one off me. The people love it. I think maybe I don't actually like it. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the steak. What is that? I think that's tofu. Okay, so the, the chunky looking thing is the tofu. This is the chicken. And I just found a piece of steak. <laughs> the soy sauce is masked in how. Okay, it tastes. Vegetable. Oh, it's hair. It's hair like steak. Steak good. No cap. That steak is good. No cap. Then it's a little too many brain bean spots for me. That steak good. I don't know what that is. Mushroom? Jesus. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting full already. Oh, I'm getting disgusted right now. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm sure that bean sprouts don't taste bad, but in every bite, in every bite, bro, give me the rice. Okay. I'm gonna be real. I'm done with it. I'm having one of those moments. 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 I was about to drink the freaking soy sauce. Let's try to fuss. So they actually put the, this is a lemon. It's supposed to go with lime. You don't got no noodles in it. Okay. This is the broth. Let me see. I'm starting to think I don't like this stuff. <laughs> I mentally like it. I mentally like it. Mentally. Mentally, I love it. Basically, I'm starting to hate it. I'm going to add a couple pieces of chicken up in this junk. Oh, no, there's some chicken in it. No, I ain't. Don't ever play yourself. Don't ever play yourself. It's vegan. Ain't no chicken, Kendra. Ain't no chicken. This is tofu and mushrooms. Lord, some bean sprouts. Bean sprouts. Mm. This is a perfect example of why I don't try new things. I've been trying to be more adventurous the older I get, and I regret it every time. Not every time. And whatever this, I think this is mint. Time. Mint. Time. I don't know what this is. A leaf. Yeah. The best thing I had was that lemon. I need to find a homeless person. I to, no, I need to find a hungry person. Give this to them. Ooh, child. Let me not drink the soy sauce again. Spring roll top here. Let's give it this funnel cake. You know, funnel cakes are only good when they hot. Okay. So, I know y'all see this brown stuff. That's supposed to be the apple topping. It's giving very much natural apple topping. It's cold. It don't mix with nothing I just ate, but that is good. That doo-doo looking topping, that's good. Let's go ahead and get into this conversation. Okay, so my lovely followers were nice enough to actually 
answer my question. Mm -hmm. Somebody say getting your letters if you can share. <laughs> so obviously, um, some parts of Greek life is very um, discreet. Okay, I should know that word by now. Um, it's very discreet. Um, just some parts, uh, basically like your process. Um, first off. It's definitely something earned, not something given. I don't know. I mean, I don't really know what to say. Um, I love the thought of Greek life. I love um, the foundation of it. I love specifically my sorority, what it stands for, its values, its legacy. Um, shout out to the Gamma chapter. Our charter day is actually coming up in my one year is coming up if you don't know like once you graduate technically you're not a part of that chapter anymore um but obviously i have my line sisters which who are still there so i still have ties but at the same time you know i do plan on joining a grad chapter so i can probably tell you more about like activeness like being an active member once i join my grad chapter because as you know the pandemic kind of cut my experience short so like i literally got out and then i was gone <clears throat> like i didn't even get like the campus pop out and all that now don't mind you like i had a lot of supports everybody was congratulating me i had a lot of good feedback and people were proud of me this and that but i didn't get the whole you know on campus strolling on campus i mean i have stroll at parties but you know, it's either you there or you not. And that's just on that. If you don't know, I crossed the Gamma Row. Um, my mother is actually a second Gamma Row, and so is my aunt. So I am a legacy. So it's just nice to continue that legacy. And of course, I'm gonna bestow that upon my child. My mother did not push me to do it, it was definitely on my own choice. Um, shout out to AZ, her. That is. That's that's where we at. If I know what everybody gonna say, like, oh, Kendra, we wanna see the stroll, we wanna see the stroll. I gotta look at the footage and see if I have any videos, but you're just gonna have to catch me, you catch me. If anything, invite me and my last sisters out so that we can pop out at your party. Cause everybody loves to party with the poodles, period. Next, somebody asks um, the topic of hardships you've overcome and how you feel about the place you are at right now in your life. Okay, so I'm actually going to do a whole life update video. Um, just stay tuned for that. And comment down below if there's any specific things you want me to talk about. But I already kind of made a list of what I wanted to cover. I want to make a video about after college life, advice to people in college to prepare for after college life, as well as um kind of like my testimony and where i'm at in life right now um literally my biggest hardship was just not finding a job right out of college and i know most adults would probably say that i did well i know a lot of people they got a job right out of college like they've been working for almost a year now you know and i just started my job so you know that was one of my biggest hardships it's just something that stressed me out at the time um probably as much as school did like I was just stressed how I overcame it so personally my first coping uh -uh, not not something in my food personally how I overcame that situation was I started my business I thought it was no better time because I didn't have anything else to do I did not have a job anymore I worked on campus so campus was done I didn't have a job so I didn't have anything to do so my go-to was to start my business I had never planned on starting my business but I didn't have anything else to do so that is what I did and I know I want to make money and money is what I made sweetie okay I definitely did make money at some point I made a good amount of money was enough money to live off no and that is where i became still dissatisfied with what i with my situation like the business was a great and i and i don't regret doing it i still have the business it's not going anywhere but at the same time 
I knew that that business was not flourishing enough to get me out on my feet really so that is why it was still a challenge even after i made my business now i'm running my business and putting my energy into that i'm still trying to have a good time live my life upkeep myself this is that and i was looking for a job like i was applying for jobs i feel like i applied literally everywhere in like the first two three months like i just feel like at this point what else is available um at this point indeed knows my name like but you know it really is a uh, walk by faith and not by sight like that's really how i overcame it i'm not even gonna cap to y'all like it's nothing but god like i i just i really can't explain it any other way um i got out of the situation personally or mentally i got out of the situation by um reaching out to people making sure i talk about my situation often um making sure i get off my chest how i feel i do feel like i fell into a depression at a point um i did get myself together at a point and i also was still dissatisfied with my situation but i found joy in certain places um i'm always one of the people that try to pray for peace and genuine joy um and I usually am at peace, thank the Lord, if I answer my prayers. But, um, yeah, like, literally, it wasn't a, oh, I did this, and I did that, and I did this so much different than the next, and this is the plan of how you do this, this, that. Like, no, I promise y'all, it's like one of those things where you're like, just by chance, you were given a break. But it's not just by chance. It's God will and God way is to how I got where I was at. But it just seemed like it was a miracle, you know. It was something that you cannot dream about because you didn't see it. Like, he had something greater for you. Yeah, I did get a job. So, that was the way that I got out of that. Now, the second part of the question said, how do I feel about where I'm at in life right now? And, I mean, I feel like the way i feel like where i'm at right now in my life is a perfect example of how you could have everything and still have nothing or like you will never be satisfied in life i'm sorry like you really have to get in the program or mindset that you are going to be happy where you are because you're always gonna want more like it's good to have goals but let's be real like your goals get to a point where it feels like it's something unattainable and you're just stuck in your situation okay and you're just waiting for your goal to come to life that's really what it is so like even when you make one feat you are going to think about i want to do i want to do another thing i want to accomplish something else i want to do something else i want to do this I've done that. Now let me do something else. Like, you're going to always want to do better. Most people. Most people are going to always want to do better. So, you're never going to be satisfied. And you got to get out of that mindset. Because I was like that. I felt like I had... I have a car. I have a job. I have money. I have friends. And then I was like, oh, I'm missing a relationship. Oh, I'm missing my own apartment oh i'm missing travel life like it's just like you just never gonna be satisfied so i'm actually happy where i'm at i have to be i have to become happy and joyous in the place that i'm at right now because i'm extremely blessed i'm extremely blessed i'm extremely blessed i'm extremely blessed i'm gonna keep saying that because i am and i cannot act like i'm not okay i can't seem like i'm not or not be grateful of where i'm at I got to stop comparing my situation to other people's situation as well. Yes, I'm doing better than a lot of people, but I cannot think of that because it's not about them. It's about me. I'm doing better than what I was doing before. I'm out of the situation I was in before. If I could say how I feel is that I'm grateful, but I'm pushing for greater. You know, that is what it is. Okay. Last question. Somebody said relationship advice the best way if y'all wanna in if any of these topics y'all actually want me to make a video on please let me know um but relationship advice my relationship advice and 
I'm not a relationship expert. Actually, I feel like I'm a relationship expert, but I just cannot apply it to my relationships. <laughs> Everybody know what they need to do. They just don't do it. Message. Let's be real. So yeah, that's why I'm at with it. I feel like the the best advice I can give is communication. Like that's really like top tier because I know how I am and I always want somebody to read my mind and nobody's gonna read your mind. Half of the people you're ever gonna meet in life are never gonna even want to read your mind. Let's be real. They're not gonna wanna guess what you want, what you don't want. And they're not even gonna wanna know because you're giving them energy as if you don't care. And I know that. So, over the years, I've been trying to, you know, push myself to be more vocal about what I do and don't like. Actually, I've been trying to be more vocal what I don't like. I guess I should highlight what I do like as well. But, yeah, that's just my advice for any relationship. Like, it's really just communicating. Um, yeah. So, yeah, y'all. That is that concludes this video. I hope it wasn't too much of a fail. Um, it's giving very much itis, so if I start to get real mellow, I'm sorry. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're not so kind of my channel, I don't know what you're doing, but I know you want to see more of me. Also, y'all put your post notifications because sometimes I'll be off my schedule and I need YouTube to notify you when I post because they won't automatically you have to put in post notifications also subscribe to my channel like it's no reason why i don't have 400 subscribers yet like honestly i never thought about subscribers but at this point it should be no reason why i don't got 400 subscribers 500 a thousand that's all i'm saying tell your friend and friends friends to subscribe to my channel just like you subscribe <laughs> but yeah Without a further ado, I will see you guys in the next one. Do see. Let's just let me okay. See. I really want to go back and get a refund. Wait a minute. <laughs> Video over. <laughs>